Despite major research breakthroughs, there are still no treatments that can slow, stop or reverse the progression of Parkinson's disease. The Monument Trust Discovery Award at the University of Oxford is the largest ever research grant given by Parkinson's UK, the UK's largest research and support charity for people affected by Parkinson's. This groundbreaking project launched the Oxford Parkinson's Disease Centre, bringing together a world-class team of researchers to better understand Parkinson's to allow everyone to live free from the symptoms of the condition. Working together, we are now closer than ever to our goal. At the moment, uh, we don't have any definitive tests to make the diagnosis of Parkinson's and we don't have any way to identify people who might be at risk of developing Parkinson's in the future. Uh, we currently are recruiting people with Parkinson's uh, who've had a diagnosis in the last three years and also um, brothers or sisters of people with Parkinson's uh, from a population base in the Thames Valley. We're currently running research clinics in 11 hospital sites across the Thames Valley and cover a population in total of 2.9 million. The aim is that if you live in the Thames Valley, uh, you won't have to travel very far to get to your local district hospital and get involved with our research. Subtle differences in brain imaging and from samples from blood and other bodily samples will enable us to diagnose Parkinson's at a much earlier stage and also with a better degree of accuracy. So by developing tests that will enable us to make the diagnosis earlier and monitor response to treatments, I truly believe we have the best chance of ultimately coming up with a cure for Parkinson's. I heard about the study through the newsletter from the Parkinson's UK website. Uh, it looked very interesting and it was local to me, so I thought I would follow up on it. What's involved in taking part? A few simple tests and questions. You have a questionnaire before you come, uh, you ask some, another set of questions uh, and then you do various tests like smell test, uh, pegboard test, memory test. Can you remember three words ten seconds later? Sometimes I can and sometimes I can't. There are more advanced tests that they ask you if you would be willing to do such as a blood test but with all of these if you don't like the test you can say no. I think it's important to take part in the study because you have a duty to your fellow man to uh, try and develop knowledge to help find a, a cure ultimately for Parkinson's. It's, it's a no risk option. Come and join the study uh, and if you don't like it or there's something that you're uncomfortable about well you're in control. You can say no I don't want to do that. So there's absolutely no fear factor uh, and it's just a nice couple of hours spent finding out a little bit more about Parkinson's. The University of Oxford is a world leader in brain imaging. We're using a variety of techniques to assess how the brain is affected in Parkinson's. This will help us to understand why individuals vary in the way they're affected by Parkinson's and how best to track changes and response to treatment. Using magnetic resonance imaging, we can also look at how brain function goes wrong in Parkinson's. These pictures from our pilot study of 20 people with early Parkinson's show significant reductions in brain function that improve when the same individuals are given medication to treat their symptoms. Involvement in, uh, in this research just simply means that you come to the hospital and do some various tests. And to be honest with you, most of them are really quite amusing. A general clinical examination, Oh, what else did I have? Oh, general walking about, seeing how my gait was and so forth. But I think the most important thing that I find is actually working alongside these people who are really enjoying what they're doing and excited by what they're doing. And it's finger on the pulse stuff, really. I have a very much a sort of have a go um, attitude in a way, not foolhardily. Nothing about what I've done is um, painful in any way or intrusive in any way. I was aware of very fully of what was expected of me and what participation I could take part. So to some degree, there is some optional uh, activities you can have. You can say, no, I don't really want to do that. I am doing my utmost, really, to, to sort of play my part in trying to make sure that this condition does at some point stop or is treated, is treatable. So, you know, I don't pass it on to my, not I personally pass it on, but it's not passed on to the next generation and generations, really. The Discovery Project is a fantastic example of clinicians and researchers working together to bring our basic research findings forward. Parkinson's UK is delighted to be funding an international research centre with expertise in both basic research and clinical research. 
I think what we've managed to do here in Oxford with the Oxford Parkinson's Disease Centre is bring together the clinicians working in the hospital and the scientists working in the laboratory to focus on better studying and ultimately treating Parkinson's. And one uh, key step in that is the study of stem cells from Parkinson's patients. We're able to take a simple skin biopsy in the hospital, bring that back into the laboratory, reprogram the skin cells into stem cells, and then we can turn the stem cells into dopamine neurons, a type of brain cell that dies off in Parkinson's. And by studying those dopamine neurons from patients in the laboratory, we can better understand the disease and ultimately work towards a cure. So if you've been diagnosed with Parkinson's in the last three years, or are a brother or sister of someone with Parkinson's and are willing to travel to one of our study centres, please consider taking part. You can find out more about the Discovery Project by calling your local Dendron research team.